Hey, thanks so much for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. Today is Motivational Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. We had a great Sunday yesterday as we started off our new series called A Friend of Sinners. We discovered that you and I, we're all sinners. And I'm so thankful that we have a friend who meets us right where we are, and that is Jesus himself. The scripture today comes from the book of Matthew. It's in a couple other Gospels as well, but we'll be reading from the book of Matthew chapter 18. It's one of Jesus parables and a parable is something that Jesus or really anybody he, he he takes on a subject that is relatable to everybody and a lot of times Jesus refer to farming and fishing and uh, gardening because that's who his audience was and so this one he was referring to a shepherd and sheep and so this parable is the parable of the lost sheep. Matthew chapter 18, verses 10 through 14. And what not only does he take the everyday language or what the event happens, he makes a spiritual meaning with the everyday language that the people were familiar with. And so Matthew chapter 18, starting in verse 10, says, See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. What do you think? If a man owes a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hills and go and look for the one that wandered off? And if he finds it, truly, I tell you, he is happier about the one sheep than about the ninety-nine that did not wander off. In the same way, your Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should perish. I don't know about you, but that is motivation for me. That our Heavenly Father, His love for us runs so deep. He knew that there was separation between us and Him because of our sinful nature. Because of what happened at the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve. And every single thing in the New Testament was trying to reconcile his creation back to him. And they kept on falling. They kept on falling. But Jesus paid it all. He tore the veil. And now we have access to the Heavenly Father. And not only that, he meets us right where we are. He seeks us. And we can go to him because the sacrifice of what Jesus Christ did. So I hope that is motivation for you. Let's dig into his word today. Let's thank him for the cross and the sacrifice that he made for you and I. May God bless you and have a great start to an amazing week that you're going to have. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Make sure to turn in tomorrow for another Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.